The difficulty with the second trigger, with this, which is the more important trigger, is to get to it. It lies underneath the trapezius muscle. Also, another little trap is that there is a very important trigger point in the trapezius which lies in the same area. So, to delineate these two, the first is that the trapezius trigger refers pain upwards. The second is that the uh, levator scapulae refers pain locally. To find the trapezius trigger, you lift the free edge, bringing your head just very gently towards me, you lift the free edge of the uh, trapezius up and you squeeze. Now that will find the trapezius trigger. The levator scapular trigger can be reached either by pressing straight through the trapezius or by shifting the trapezius away and going deep to it. And this, you can do either of these, and this, your ability to get there will depend on how thick the person's trapezius is and how active it is. Often these muscles have triggers together because they're part of what's called a myotactic unit. They always dance together. And so if you've got a lot of triggers in your trapezius, you may find it difficult to get the levator scap. So showing this again from the side, the trapezius muscle can be lifted like this. To get to the levator scap, you have to slide under the free edge and go in deep like that, often a really tender point, or go through the trapezius to get down to it. So the first to, to treat straight through, you press down, and you can use your index finger. You need to press quite firmly. The levator scap is running in this direction, and it's quite narrow at this point. And so, again, you run backwards and forwards, and you tend to find there's a, you can feel there, is, there are some uh, fibers which you, your finger often runs over, and you find... You, you press in, often you need another finger on there, and you press until you find that sore point, and then you follow the ischemic principles, which you can brush up on by just clicking the link below. The way to get under the trapezius is to drop head over, and then I'm, I'm going deep in, and when I get there, I can feel the first rib running. The levator scapulae twists as it runs over the first rib. The transverse process of the seventh cervical vertebra is also in this area. So as you dig deep, you'll feel the transverse process coming from this side, the rib coming from below, and you'll be able to run your finger over the muscle fibers as it runs through there. Uh, often a very tender area, but really, really worthwhile to treat. The second is much easier to find, and that is just here, you feel for the edge of the scapula, and again, the trapezius is, is um, superficial to the levator scapulae, but the trapezius doesn't have a lot of triggers in this area. So when you press in here, often, <laughs> this is such a common trigger, often you will find, you, as I'm, you see I'm running my hand backwards and forwards like this, and I can feel a thickening, and is that tender? Yeah, yeah, and it's tender. Many, many people have triggers in this area. And again, once you've found it, you apply the ischemic principles of staying just below the pain threshold and gradually allowing this trigger to melt away underneath your fingers.